It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, and we'll see who rules the skies in today's battle. It's the Cardinals and the Birds, and it's all up next. Just north of the Delaware Expressway and east of Broad Street, we find ourselves at Lincoln Financial Field in South Philly. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Arizona Cardinals taking on the defending NFC champs, the Philadelphia Eagles. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Well, what a season it was for these Eagles and these Philly fans last year. An 8-0 start. 14-3 final record, two blowout wins in the NFC playoffs before coming up a bit short in Super Bowl 57. And a good thing for Philadelphia is they try and get back to the Super Bowl. Many of the key pieces they had last year are back. Remember, this is the number three offense in the league, number two defense, and they threw in a heck of an NFL draft. They expect to contend one more time. And for the visiting Cardinals, you know, this is a team in flux a little bit. J.J. Watt retired. There's a new coaching staff in place. They've got some work to do to turn around what was a 4-13 and campaign in 2022. I remember this franchise won 11 games in 2021, but everything's new now. Head coach, the way they're going to run things on offense, style of play on defense, but sometimes that change can be really good. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And this taken in at the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Cardinals offense set to take over for the first time, and they are piloted by their fifth-year quarterback, two-time pro bowler as well, Kyler Murray. Drafted with the idea that he'd be one of the most dangerous quarterbacks in the NFL when he put it all together. We've been seeing that progress throughout his career. This guy's legs, we knew they were phenomenal. Arm, top notch. But now we're seeing his mind come into the game. Reed's defense is better and better each and every week and is showing patience as a passer as well. Not as eager to exit the pocket, finding guys downfield for bigger plays. First play and a first pass for Murray. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in, it's incomplete. Marquise Brown was the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. To throw, it's Murray. Finding his target, it's Trey McBride. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That one good for 37 yards. Brandon, we've both been around the game long enough that we know that in pregame, defenses are pretty amped up, aren't they? I mean, they're pounding lockers, and they can't wait to get out there. But when you hit them with some big pass plays early, it takes a starch right out of them. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Throwing now is Murray. Goes right back to McBride. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. I think you and I were a little skeptical that it would be this easy. But they certainly knew what they were doing in scouting, in preparation, and understanding what their team was capable of. And so it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. They'll run for the first time with James Conner. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. It's probably a pretty good sign here on the opening drive if your guys from the secondary are coming up and spilling things in the backfield. How about the adrenaline and aggressiveness that led his eyes to the backfield to run up there and make that tackle, setting a tone early for his defense. Screen pass to Connor. 
Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. They'll get 11, but still a little short. Fourth down. And when you're throwing the ball downfield really well, like they have been on this drive, it's really a nice time to work one of the screen plays in. One of my favorite play callers in the game has always told me he starts every game with 10 to 12 screens because if he starts feeling the pressure from the defense, he uses their aggressiveness against them. Well, you're on the road. You get the ball first. Obviously, you wanted the touchdown, Charles, but still, to come in here and take the 3-0 lead has to feel pretty good. I would agree with that totally because you come in on the road, getting your offense established, making sure that they're settled in, going against the hostile crowd because every crowd is hostile on the road. Yeah, you got to feel good about that. A nice little opening drive, come away with a field goal, and they feel good as they face the rest of this game. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. Taken at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So here come the Eagles, the defending NFC champs, led out by a man who was the runner-up to Patrick Mahomes at MVP balloting a season ago. Of course, that's Jalen Hurts. Tremendous production in college at two different universities, and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 26. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. They'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. And we see the emphasis early here. Get your star receiver involved able to do it successfully. Not a bad start to begin with, that's for sure. And to me, this play says, our guy is better than your guy's. Because you know, a player of his stature, he won't just be single covered all game long. He's going to involve multiple people. And right away, they told the other team, guess what? He's just better. 18 more yards there and another first down. Well, no slow start here. A couple nice chunk plays back to back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they've got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. The good signal calls would never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. From the gun, it's Hurts. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 27-yard line. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field. Well, hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. First and ten, it's Hurts. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way, and really we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Second down and three. They go play action with Hurts. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Seventh play in the drive now as they come up on a third and three. They'll try and run here with Swift. He's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. 
But a good play is made on defense. Oftentimes, leverage is the key to everything. Defensive line not getting turned. All the other guys making sure they're in the right spot. And on that play, they were able to stop him short of a first down. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. Hurt sets up to throw it. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Touchdown, Eagles! Jalen Hurts on target to Dallas Goddard. And the Eagles' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it. They'll see that opening drive field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Here's second and 10. Murray going to throw. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Josh Schwett rushing in and bringing him down to the ground. Well, it was second long. Now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Give him nine on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. I thought he did a pretty good job there to get back what he could, but let's face it, that sack on second down, talk about throwing a wrench into the works. He certainly did. Yeah, he did everything he could there, trying to pick up some positive yardage, and he did, but not enough. Blake Gillikin on to punt now on fourth down. Britton Covey deep for Philadelphia. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Taking it about the 36. Following the punt return here, there is someone shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I'm I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. 
Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, a sharply run route. Again, zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window, he fired a bullet in there for the completion. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Hurts. And this is caught. It's Brown. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 25-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. This will be caught inside the 10. And the Eagles are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the 8-yard line. Here's Swift. And he'll work his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. It's largely been the air attack that's gotten him down here, but now is where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pick up there on first and goal. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. It'll be Hurts on the option. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Well, that's going to bring up a big call now because he's unable to make the play himself on second down. Now you just have to wonder, will they keep the ball in his hands on third down? They'll look to throw on third and goal. are able to stretch out their lead. Elliott now to add the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. and a Julio Jones touchdown. Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Now Greg Dorch going to bring it out of the end zone. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at about the 32. He'll start the drive with a give to Connor, and he'll get this up only to about the 33. Jalen Carter in on that tackle. 
That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Ball at the 33, second and nine. Now Murray. And his throw here is incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Here's Murray. Dancing to his left. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. And the defense coming through on third down. A loss of seven to bring up four. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. It'll be a 44-yard punt, six on the return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second and three. Off the play fake. Here's Hertz. Looking here for Smith downfield. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Well, not that we had any questions, but it's obvious his arm does not hurt today, does it? He does not mind slinging it around. He is firing that pigskin around the yard. Yeah, putting it deep downfield, taking shots. Unsuccessful there, but I like his moxie. Here's Hurts to throw. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. And looking up into the sun, he's able to make the fair catch inside the 20-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and the Cards will take over first and 10. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 16. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Murray now to throw. His throw incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. Second and ten. Murray again. This is Connor. Dancing up, oh, Connor loses it. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And they will set up shot in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. You remember in preseason when we were going to the different training camps and visiting teams, and we always would see the running backs working out and going through those gauntlet drills. Yep. And, you know, guys either slapping at the ball or the machines. you got to learn to take care of it. Yeah, they lost it there. Big fumble. Oh, 
But first down, Hurts. That one almost intercepted, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. That incompletion certainly slows things down a little bit and brings up a very important call for second and long. What do you do? Run and try and get some yardage and make it third and manageable? Or challenge the coverage again, hoping for a bigger gain? Throwing his hurts. This is Smith to the ground. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. After one, a 14-3 ball game. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a first and 10. They'll set up a throw. And he's got it. And he's brought down after a very nice game. A good pick up there, 21 yards. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Brandon, that's what you call being manhandled at the point of attack. And I know the offensive line gets a lot of blame for that one. But occasionally, the defense just knows what you're going to do. Maybe they scouted it perfectly. Maybe someone tipped it off. But on that play, it had no chance. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. The Eagles on third down, just one for three thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Buying, feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. It's Zabin Collins who got in there to get the sack. Well, that's what they have to do more of defensively. Not just getting sacks, but they have to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving them up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. The kick by Elliott is good. Well, I don't know if they would have gone for it on fourth and goal anyway, but the sack on third down pretty much made their mind up for it. You're exactly right about that. And this is a tough place on the field to take a sack because, as you just noted, it took the decision making away from them. Now they have to go for a field goal instead of potentially going for it. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And good coverage there on special teams as he'll get him down shy of the 20. James Conner and the Cardinal offense ready to get back to work. And for him, it's been pretty limited involvement. Down on the scoreboard, maybe time to turn to this guy. And you know me well. Winning games to me means starting with the running game and continuing to press the running game. Maybe you go away from him a little bit now, but the bottom line is he hasn't touched it enough to make a difference. Well, they haven't established that running game yet. The question is, will they? The drive will start with Connor. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Again, it's Connor. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. This offense so far on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and five. Here's Murray. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. And that'll bring up fourth down on a big 
sack with a loss of five. The heat continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. These sacks, they're starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, they've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Philadelphia's offense ready to go again. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, run what you your do best. On the exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. The best way to do it, touchdowns. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be. But in this case, there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. Kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv, and you run into a tough crowd. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets in the enemy territory. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 and a first down. to throw here. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. And Devontae Smith, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. He'll look to throw. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. He was trying to get it to A.J. Brown that time. And it's third down. Play action. Here's Hurts. Able to find the open man. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. On the option to give to Swift here. And a little bit of space there. Takes it inside the five to the three. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead because now the defense can't dictate with pressure. They're guessing about where you're going to go. I might come right back at them with the same play, the same set, and see if they can stop them. Swift again. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. DeAndre Swift, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles have moved out in front by three touchdowns. And while no one on the offensive line will get the six points next to their name, they should be credited with this one. Tremendous blocking to get the runner into the end zone. Elliott on for the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. So this drive spans seven plays, and it ends with a three-yard scoring run. Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Greg Dortch returning. 
And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Cardinals offense ready to set up shop. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and 10. the gun Murray throw left side complete that's counter only able to gain a couple there and it'll be second down I've worked with you long enough now to know you like that decision go safe pressure coming hit your guy underneath it's an excellent decision but he knew it came with consequences and that's him getting hit on the play but able to dump it to his running back and gain some yardage I liked everything about it especially his ability to stay in the pocket and execute. Murray connects with Moore here, and he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Murray to Moore for the Cardinal first. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit, and they get one here in the passing game. Throwing on first down is Murray. And he'll go right back to Moore, complete again. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And now at this point in the first half, you've got to realize as an offense, you're not going to all get it back in one fell swoop. This is going to be about sustained drives, making sure you finish with points. And that's a good throw there for a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. And that one into the hands of Brown downfield. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A very solid gain of 27. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's four for four now, and that throw may be the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. On first and 10 is Connor. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. Second and six. Again, a run with Connor. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Two yards the gain there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. To throw, it's Murray. So that now four first half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. Prater's kick is good. And the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. So chalk that down as an eight play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while. But they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. Well, let's shine the spotlight on the former Georgia Bulldog, DeAndre Swift, who's set to begin this next drive. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. 
He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. On play action, they'll throw. Going across the middle, and Goddard's got it. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. The end result, 21 yards. They'll give them credit for a good read right there because they read the man coverage on the right side and sent the tight end a few steps down the field and then angled him to the left on a crossing route. He was able to get enough separation on this play to turn it into a nice game. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Hertz sets up to throw it. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. A handoff, Swift running to the left. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. Yeah, call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. now on first down and he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down the coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set here's Murray from midfield And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Murray going to throw. He's got his tight end, McBride, on the out route. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 39. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. A first and 10 here. You know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. Murray with a nice move. Down the left sideline. It's a sensational run there by Kyler Murray. And the Cardinals get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. And maybe the defense got so caught up in him throwing the football, they forgot he can take off too. And you often hear about the quarterback being the unaccounted for guy as a runner. Well, even on a passing play, he's unaccounted for as a runner, and he turned it into a nice game. A very nice run, and it turns in to six points.
Now Matt Prater for the point after. And it is good. That cuts the lead now to 11, 24, 13 hour score. Touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. The Eagles offense going to take over late in this first half. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Hurts. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. From the gun, it's Hurts. Quick slant to Brown. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Here's Hertz to throw. That is caught. It's the tight end gunner. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 18. 27 yards there. A first down. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This just a 35-yard attempt from the left hash. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So good work there to get points just before the half as they add on to their lead. As trite as it sounds, every little bit helps. That's exactly what they're going for. Anytime you get a chance to put points on the board, you take it. And they didn't leave the other side with much time at all on the clock. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. The Eagles got a solid first half from last year's MVP runner-up, Jalen Hurts. He came out of the gate smoking hot with two first quarter touchdown passes to help steer his guys towards this halftime lead. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three.
So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. And this taken in at the goal line. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The Eagles ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line can play a little bit better. And I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. You'll get this to about the 38. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. From the 38 now, here's a second down and six. They'll set up to throw. Caught by Jones. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them, and these guys have been taking advantage so far. On first and 10, it's Hurts. A beautiful price of tackle. He's got room to run. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. This is where the NFL is headed year by year, partner. A league where just about everyone has someone under center who can get you with their legs as well as their arm. And we've certainly had a nice display of that for both QBs in this game. And that continued with that first down run. On first and 10, it's Swift. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. From the 33, here's a second and seven. Throwing his hurts. Well, it's caught on the right side of Smith. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. The card's going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. Now back to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 16. It's an 11-yard pickup. Thought they'd run it on third and one. Not the case. Whatever the discussions were at halftime and trying to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. But first down, Hurts. And it's nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. You're down two touchdowns. You just know defensively you absolutely have to come up with a big play. That nearly was one right there. Looked over at the sideline immediately after the drop and just saw the dejection. They felt it. They thought he had it. Unfortunately, couldn't come up with it. Second down. Here's Hurts. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That's a big force incompletion there to bring up third and long. And this defense can still salvage a little momentum by forcing them to kick a field goal. Because just a few plays ago, it looked like they were headed towards the end zone. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Back to throw again. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide, and these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. It'll be Hurts on the option. Diving for the end zone, and the ball's knocked out, and the Cardinals have got it. Go the other way. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the 
football back. Well, give some credit to the defense. They forced the big play, knocked the ball free from him, but that's a cardinal sin by the quarterback. Know where you are on the field, and he just gave up at a minimum three points. And instead of getting down, takes the contact. The turnover ensues. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. And they just got a little help from their defense forcing the turnover. Now can they make that pay off in points? They need to, partner. They're down on the scoreboard. Need to take advantage of those opportunities. And this is a good one right in front of them. They begin on the ground here with Connor. The decision is to decline it and not give him the down back. They might as well have sent a sky rider above the stadium saying, we don't think you get the first down against our defense by that decision. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Connor up the middle. And that won't buy him much room. Just a one-yard gain to the five. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sit through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing now is Murray. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. And that's a much-needed completion right there on third down. Really a sigh of relief, isn't it? They're backed up deep. You know they don't want to give the ball back to the other guys a great field position. They needed that throw, that completion, that first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. A give running right is counter. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. Yeah, oftentimes in that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. They just keep trying, but so far, finding no room for him to run. Not none whatsoever. In fact, you run the numbers. He's under three yards a carry at the moment. On second down, here's Murray. It's complete to Brown, right side. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag. Because when you do, you just put the ball on it and then let him run. He's got some space. Here's third and three. Here's Murray. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. Well, that's unfortunate because he had a nice run going. But give credit to the defense. They got a hand in the cookie jar there, CD. You have to think about vision, finding a place to get down after you know you've gotten all you can out of a run. And obviously, ball security is paramount. In today's football, everyone's coming after the rock. You've got to make sure you protect it and protect the yardage you just gained. Play action. Here's Hurts. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Chris Barnes. And the Cardinals will take over possession here up at the 44. 
So a potential momentum shifter there, working with a two-score lead, third quarter, but that not the smartest of throws. I would agree with you on that one because this game is still very much in the balance. It felt pretty one-sided to this point, but now if these guys can turn this turnover into points, things could start getting a little more interesting. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 44. It's Connor as they stay on the ground. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage to be found. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. And he's going to get back to the original line of scrimmage, but that's about it. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Murray now to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That third down conversion, good for 23. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Connor. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. That escapes the sack. Flush to his right. The offense now a loose football. The ball comes out. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. And he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. So many times we talk about having good eye discipline when you're playing defense, making sure your eyes are in the proper place on a given play. Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? They were able to hold him for a short gain when he took off running. Connor will take this one in. It's a Cardinal touchdown. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. Prater on and the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. So that drives seven plays in length. And it was a touchdown run by James Conner that was the exclamation mark. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. On oh, the return, Boston Scott. 
And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. And their lead cut in half by that touchdown a moment ago. They are up seven as they begin this drive first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Once again, it's Swift. And he finds enough of an opening to get this one back up to his 20. 40 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling them in the huddle right now. Here's third and six. Back to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they work this well up field across the 45. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and 10 here. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit. And that's what he did on that play. A throw over the middle taken in. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's the Eagles in possession of the football and leading this one as we get ready to start the final quarter. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Hurts finding Smith for the Philly first. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Now second and eight at the 32-yard line. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got to jump here. A little antsy on the left side of the line. Yeah, I think they got the guy in the end. I think they got the DN there on that one, and let's face it, he is so amped up, wanting to get a good get off on the snap, jump too quickly. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. He delivers another to Goddard, complete. And Goddard gonna have an Eagles first down as he'll take this down to the 22-yard line. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Hurts sets up to throw it. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. It'll be a gain of five, 
And that'll make it second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he was unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. They go play action with Hurts. Out route pass complete to Goddard. And the Eagles are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves him all the way down to the one. Not quite enough to get into the end zone, but what a nice play there. He makes the catch, tries to turn up field and get to the pylon, but doesn't quite get there. But they're going to be set up with a first and goal from very short range. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Swift is in the end zone for an even touchdown. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. The bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Elliott now to add the extra point. And the lead is up to 14. Pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. kick it away and a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field as this offense comes back out here Charles they're trailing in this ball game and they've been on the sideline for a while they did score their last time out but they just had to watch that long sustained drive so we'll see if they can shake the rust off yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? They start with a give to Connor. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. Here's second and seven now from the 28. To throw, it's Murray. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Connor. He'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. He's got good size. We know he's tough to bring down running the ball. That also carries over to the passing game like we saw there. And at his size, how would you like to try and stop him on that angle route? Him coming out of the backfield, breaking sharply, catching the football. It's going to take a lot more than one guy most likely to bring him down. That was a nice game. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to move the sticks with a gain of four on third and inches. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. Steps away to his left. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Murray's throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. That'll put him at 77 yards receiving for the ball game. It's a first down. Murray again. This is Connor. And he's got it to about the 40. 
How about the big guy there showing some agility? He just flowed from his D-tackle position in order to make that play. This is second and eight. Murray going to throw. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Normally being a big body receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. First and ten, here's Murray. He'll get this to Connor underneath. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Second down and a yard. time in the 17. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. Now Murray. And it's caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. Rondale Moore. 17 yards out and the Cardinals have made it a one score game again here in the fourth a nice connection there finding his target and that'll put six up on the board just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated on the sidelines right perfect route a good throw in the defense they had no answer for that right there now Prater to add the PAT And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. So that one a long 11 play drive. And it winds up at a touchdown for Arizona. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First downs a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. ground and Swift to start the drive. Slipped one tackle but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. Officially it's a one yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. If this was boxing you think maybe they would have thought about stopping this one because this defense has been bruised. It's been battered but this is why they keep the fight going right. They just got done with a really nice play showing they still got a little bit left don't they? Haven't had many plays that they can clip put in the film room and smile about but hey there's one. Clip and save. Got a man, it's Brown. So the completion good for seven there. And it's third and four now. Throw 
showing his hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And here comes Dorch on the return. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And they will take over first and 10. The football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. And it feels like the momentum has shifted. They scored and their defense forces that last punt. And now a chance to tie the game on this possession. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Trying to get a big strike right there and hopefully tie this game up in the late going. But the coverage was there, and this winds up incomplete. Now a second and 10. To throw is Murray. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Shaquille Leonard, the linebacker. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. Boy, he had to fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle. And Charles, I think they were in zone defensively, weren't they? They certainly were. Nice read on your part. And sometimes the quarterback isn't fooled between zone and man. Sometimes just fooled by the type of zone that he sees. Because oftentimes, those linebackers will vacate and run downfield with receivers. In this case, he played a pure zone and was in the wrong spot for the QB. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. Now a give right side swift. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. He'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11. Got to figure now after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. So a big, big kick coming now for Jake Elliott. This to perhaps salt this one away. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So that one, CD, going to make the road back a lot more difficult. Oh, there's no doubt about that. You know they were praying on the other sideline for a miss because now, as you pointed out, a very difficult road. Down two scores. You don't just need a touchdown. You need a chain of events to go your way. You've got to score, somehow get the ball back, and score again. The odds of that happening, not great in your favor. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. 
Kyler Murray now in the Cardinal offense. Down by 10. A little under a minute 50 remaining. They'll need a score here and also likely an onside kick recovery. But first things first. First and 10. Now Murray gets this to Moore and give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four at the 34-yard line. Now second and four. Murray to throw. Pressure cut. And down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Now the Cards going to call another timeout. Their second as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. To throw is Murray. all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Brandon, what's even more impressive is that came against double coverage. He gashed them with that reception, even with the extra focus that he drew from the defense. Well, they need to score and score quick. One timeout remaining. Final minute. First and 10. Meanwhile, Murray's throw here going to be caught by Wilson. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Of course, remember, you need a touchdown here and a field goal. Doesn't matter the order, but they have to get it done and get it done fast. They'll come up first and 10 here. Back to throw, Murray. That's complete to his running back, Connor. And down inside the 15 he goes. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Here's first down. Now Murray again. And he wisely will throw that one away. Now the question is obvious. Do you try to kick the field goal right here knowing that you need two scores? I would be thinking about if I were on that sideline. Get the field goal now, try and get the touchdown later. Another try from the 14 on second and 10. Murray now to throw. Throw out wide, going to be incomplete. And let's face it, this defense has had its share of struggles all game long, and they know that they can put it all behind them if they defend well here in the two-minute drill. Excellent coverage right there to force the incompletion. Well, you don't have to beg the Philly faithful to make noise on their feet for third down. Here's Murray. And he's left with no here but the throw away. This crowd is on pins and needles now because anytime you see the ball heading for the end zone, you really hold your breath and they come out of their seats. That one falls incomplete. Murray, one final try. Work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete. And the Cardinals are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. 
A higher scoring game, Charles, than we typically see in the National Football League. But fun to watch these offenses. They were really clicking. It seemed like everything that they dialed up worked. Yeah, it certainly was fun to watch from our perspective. I'd like to be those defensive coaches, though. That wasn't a blast for them at all. And let's face it, they all game plan. They all scout. They all think they're prepared. But executing and stopping teams, that's another matter entirely.